Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well and we're going to have another night of boxing. This is Glory Days Boxing Card and Dice Fight Night. Dwayne Bobick versus Leon Spinks, 10 rounds heavyweights. It's a clash of Olympians from Madison Square Garden. Bobbitt takes on Spinks next up on the channel. The winner will move on to bigger and better while the loser will have to regroup. So it's a day of reckoning here at Madison Square Garden. Dwayne Bobbick, Leon Spinks coming up next. Ten rounds, heavyweights. Dwayne Bobbick weighed in at 215 pounds, stands approximately six foot three. He'll be in the tan trunks. And he hails from the great state of Minnesota. Leon Spinks, six foot one, 197 pounds. And hailing from the great state, St. of uh, Great State of Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. Fighters are at ring center. Your referee is Dave Gardner. The three judges scoring on the 10-point must system here in New York at Madison Square Garden. Steeler fan, Anthony Crooks and Big Polly. Both fighters are five-star fighters. We roll to see any initial toe to toe exchange. Bobbick won 4 to 2, so he will have the initial momentum. Leon Spinks and Dwayne Bobbick's trait very similar. Leon Spinks has hug it out. If opponent scores five punches, roll the D20 1 through 6. His opponent will only score one blow. And my house rules a power check will still be involved. Dwayne Bobbick, survivor trait, if hurt, roll the 1d20, and he clinches 1 through 5, thus nullifying any further damage. Referee Gardner shows him where the trunks are, tells him where the punches are good, tells him to touch gloves and go back to their corners, and they do. We are moments away. Ten rounds, heavyweights, Dwayne Bobbick, Leon Spinks, a clash of Olympians. Here we go, round number one. And that is a six for Leon Spinks out of the red corner, a two for Dwayne Bobbick. Spinks is on the inside. That's where he wants to be, ring center. A two for Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick trying to keep him, keep him at distance, but Spinks is able to force his way in. A little dipping, a little diving, and some crouching. Leon Spinks throws, and that's a 21. Spinks is going to land in tight, where he lands 0 through 54, and that 21, those are good shots by Leon Spinks. And Bobbick eats them all. That is a three-punch salvo for Spinks. He digs two to the body, and then comes back with a left hook to the head. Three punches scored by Leon Spinks. Round one continues. Spinks now has momentum. A four for Leon Spinks. Spinks now looking to tag Bobbick with a right hand from distance. A two for Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick measures, but Spinks throws. So Neon Leon Spinks is letting his hands go, and he's going to land again. He ratatats Bobbick from distance. That is a 19. Spinks scores zero through 45 and Spinks lands two jabs and a right hand another three punch salvo lands by Leon Spinks good opening moments of this bout here at Madison Square Garden for Leon Spinks he's looking pretty sharp Bobbick has not got on track yet a five for Leon Spinks Spinks again tries to get in tight a three for Dwayne Bobbick Bobbick, Bobbick muscling up now and Bobbick's gonna throw can Bobbick land inside? He will not. That's a 69. A counter attempt for Leon Spinks. And Leon Spinks lands a right left to the jaw of Dwayne Bobbick. It's been all Leon Spinks. Homebrew rule. Any legal punch lands. 
Power and Chin check. Leon Spinks power is a three. We rolled a five. So again, Spinks dominating round number one. Bobic needs to get on track here. They're yelling at from the Bobic corner, let your hands go, let your hands go, don't wait. A five for Leon Spinks. Spinks again in tight. A four for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic is able to sidestep him. And now Bobic looks to land a good crushing right hand. But he will not. That's a 78. He will miss his punch from distance. No counter by Spinks, though. They tie up. Referee Dave Gardner breaks them. We continue with round number one. It's been all Neon Leon Spinks. A six for Spinks. One on the outside. A four for Bobic. One on the outside. Our first toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Spinks has momentum. And Spinks will land with an 11. Bobic with a 46 will not. So again, Leon Spinks shorter and sharper with his punches. And he rat-a-tats Bobic in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange with four more punches. Left, right, left, right. The last right being to the side, the rib cage of Dwayne Bobic. 120 to go in round number one. An excellent round for the gold medalist 1976 Olympics. In Montreal, a one for Leon Spinks. Spinks on the outside again, pawing with the jab, looking to land the overhand right. A four for Bobic. Bobic finally lets his hands go. But uh, will he land? Yes, he will. That is a zero one. Five punches possibly can land by Dwayne Bobic. Um, we've already rolled. We're gonna count that blue die. For the clinch, he will not clinch. All right, that's actually, a, we'll call that the defense check. And no clinch. All the punches get through. So finally, Bobic, lead right hand, left hook, right hand, and then another left hook to the body of Leon Spinks, trying to stop that Spinks momentum. He'll take the play away from Spinks with a minute to go in round number one. Let's see if Bobic can take advantage. That was a good combination by Dwayne Bobic. A one for Leon Spinks. Spinks trying to regroup from distance, circling ring center. A six for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic bores in. It's going to be a toe to toe exchange in tight. Billy Goat to Billy Goat, as we say. And Bobic will land with a 13. And Leon Spinks will land with a 42. Bobic, a chance to cut up Spinks. Those are crisp, short shots by Dwayne Bobic. So Bobic with a 13 will land four punches as they pound away. Hooks to the body and head go both pugilists. Spinks lands two shots. Not as strong as Bobic. Spinks blinking. Spinks cuts. Cut rating eight and under. And that is a six. So Leon Spinks will have some sort of facial abrasion here. What will it be? We will roll. And that is a nine. That is a nine for Leon Spinks. And that is swelling as his right eye begins to puff up. So the Bobic blows start to do damage to the face of Leon Spinks. Right eye swelling. Bobic continues with momentum. 40 seconds to go here in round number one. Scheduled for 10. Madison Square Garden. Clash of Olympians. A six for Leon Spinks. Spinks on the outside, blinking a bit. A one for Bobic. Bobic again gets in tight. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Bobic forcing Spinks back a bit towards the rope. Spinks stands his ground. And that's a 98. Bobic will not land. Spinks will, though. Leon Spinks will land with a 36 in tight. Three punches as he ratatats Bobic in this toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Left right to the body and then a chopping right to the head of Dwayne Bobic. 98 for Bobic. Possible foul. Bobic fouls five and under. There is no foul. No foul. 20 seconds ago, Spinks has momentum. 
So it was Spinks early, Bobic in the middle, and now it looks like it could be Spinks late. A three and a three, what will it be? Spinks one on the inside, Bobic two on the inside, Bobic forcing Spinks back towards the ropes in these closing moments of round number one. Can Bobic score here? That's a 37. A three for Spinks' defense, and he's going to get tagged with another shot at the bell. So Bobic works Spinks over the coals with a three punch salvo. Right hand, left hook to the body, then back up to the head, and ding ding goes the bell. A good action round here at Madison Square Garden. They're going to work on that swelling around the right eye of Leon Spinks. Bobic landed 11 punches. Spinks landed 17. So a good round for Leon Spinks. Spinks' stamina, stamina in a 10-round bout is 80 stamina points. Bobic, 70. And we'll give you some other particulars before we start round number two. We give that round unofficially 10-9 to Spinks. And again, they're working on the swelling in the Spinks corner. Around that right eye. Punch differential is six. We'll go to the judges' scorecards, and we'll announce those at the end of the fight. Six punch differential. As the New York State Athletic Commission collects the cards, and all three judges' cards have been collected. Once again, Steeler Fan, Anthony Crooks, and Big Polly are your judges. They're telling Bobic to let his hands go. When he let his hands go, he looked sharp, they're telling him in his corner. We prepare for round number two. Spink stamina down to 69 points. Bobic 53. Now let's go through some particulars before we go to round number two. Leon Spinks overall record 26, 17, and 3 with 14 knockouts. That's reality. Dwayne Bobic 48, 4, and 0 with 42 knockouts. Bobic's power is a 4. If he has you hurt, it's a 7. Leon Spinks' power is a 3. If he has you hurt, it's a 4. These are pre fatigue numbers. Spinks is hurt 9 and under, goes down 4 and under. Bobic is hurt 8 and under, he goes down 4 and under. Spinks' knockout is 3 and under, Bobic's knockout is 5 and under. Will check for Spinks is 8 and under, for Bobic, 6 and under. Cut checks for both pugilists are 8s. Spinks fouls 6 and under, Bobic, 5 and under. We already gave you their traits. On the inside, Spinks lands 0 through 54. On the outside, 0 through 45. For Dwayne Bobic on the inside, he lands 0 through 52 and 0 through 41 from distance. We prepare for round number two. We gave round number one to Leon Spinks. Spinks will have momentum as we start round number two. That swelling. Doesn't look any worse for wear. They did a good job in the Spinks corner. Here's the bell for round number two. A two for Leon Spinks. Spinks bores in. Meets Bobic in the center of the ring. A six for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic trying to muscle up to Spinks. He's the bigger pugilist. But Spinks is very strong. And Spinks forces Bobic back a bit. And Leon will let his hands go. That is a 53 inside. And Spinks will land a short chopping right hand. And then a left hook to the head. Two punches landed by Leon Spinks out of the red corner. 240 to go in round number two. Big, big fight here for both Spinks and Bobic. A four for Leon Spinks. Spinks now maneuvers towards the center of the ring. Putting the jab out there. A five for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic's also on the outside. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange from distance. Spinks has mojo. Leon Spinks with a 40. He will land. Dwayne Bobic with a 98 will not land. And those are big shots by Leon Spinks. Spinks catches Bobic clean. Right hand, left hook on the jaw of Dwayne Bobic. Bobic missed his punches. But he did foul. That takes secondary. That's a one. Bobic is down.
down. Bobic is down from a right left. Spinks has dropped Dwayne Bobic. Referee Dave Gardner issues Leon Spinks to the neutral corner and picks up the timekeeper's count. Let's see if Bobic can rise now. He is knocked out five and under, and he will get up at the count of seven. Referee Dave Gardner continues to eight, looks into Bobic's eyes, asks him if he wants to continue. He says yes. He wipes off Bobic's gloves and tells Spinks to move forward. So Bobic is down in round two, seven count. Spinks has a huge opportunity here to end this night early at Madison Square Garden. Spinks will go unopposed. It's a four as he looks to take out Bobic early. Spinks from the outside trying to load up with a big right hand. And he throws and he will land. That is a 34 overhand right and a left hook. Clip the chin of Bobic once again, but Bobic stands up to it much better. Two minutes ago in round two, Bobic still not out of danger. A big, big start here in round two for Leon Spinks. A four and a four. What will it be? Toe to toe exchange from distance. Bobic dangerously close to those ropes. Spinks with momentum. 46 for Leon Spinks. And he will miss his shots. Bobic with a 41. He will not. Bobic fighting off the ropes with a lead right and a left to the Labanza of Leon Spinks. He will take momentum. First two scoring blows for Bobic in round two. Remember, he was knocked down. We continue with round two. A five for Leon Spinks. Spinks tries to pin Bobic to the ropes. A six for Bobic. He does. It's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Bobic's. Back to the ropes, but he has Mojo. Bobic with a 29. He will land. Spinks with a 60 will not land. Big shots by Dwayne Bobic off the ropes. Unbelievable. Again, a right hand. And then a left hook. Two shots land by Dwayne Bobic. Spinks missed his blows, but he, so he absorbs those blows with that 14. 120 to go here in round two. Bobic has gone down. A one for Spinks. Spinks steps back a bit. A four for Bobic. Bobic moves forward. Bobic foot faints. Spinks steps to him. Bobic lets his hands go. Bobic looking to rally after that knockdown. And 54, he will not. Is there a countering opportunity for Leon Spinks on the four roll? Yes, there is is right hand left hook to the jaw of Dwayne Bobic once again home brew rule any legal punch we go power and chin and oh my lord Bobic buckled but grabbed on for dear life one minute to go here in round number two Madison Square Garden clash of Olympians a five for Leon Spinks who has taken momentum back Spinks inside Tying up Bobic, trying to get his hands free. A one for Bobic. They maul, they brawl. Referee Dave Gardner says fight out of it. And it's Bobic who will fight out of the clinch. Bobic again looking to rally, but he will not. That is a 73. He misses the inside punches as Spinks is able to smother him. 40 seconds to go here in round number two. A five and a five will favor Bobic from the outside. Spinks backs up. Bobbit slowly pursues, not very fast of foot, but does have a good sneak right hand. And Bobbit will land with the 30. Bobbit will land with the 30 from distance. And that's going to possibly puff up that right eye even more of Leon Spinks. So again, a lead right. No jab. It's a lead right and then a left hook that catches Spinks square in the face. Two more blows land. And you see that 20 there. Spinks absorbed both of them. And now the swelling will get worse. One through seven. And it will get worse. So that is some more swelling. 
for Leon Spinks. So Bobic rallying after he got dropped early in round two. Spinks continues to blink. Okay, we messed that up. It's got to be right eye swelling out. There you go, SW, jackass. And we messed that one up. As there's a delay in the action for a moment. And we continue with 20 seconds to go in round two. Bobic is rallying. He will lose the round 10-8, though, unless he drops Spinks in these final moments. A four for Spinks. Spinks on the outside trying to establish his jab. As now they're yelling from the Spinks corner, let your hands go. He's blinking, though that swelling's bothering him. A six for Bobic. Bobic tries to bore in, but again, he is slow of foot. And Spinks is going to try to rat -a -tat him on the way in as the round comes to a close. But Spinks from distance, that's an 86. He will not land. And those were big shots by Leon Spinks. But Bobic was able to evade and get his hands up. And ding, ding goes the bell. But Leon Spinks dropped Bobic for a seven count. We give Spinks unofficially that round 10-8. Bobic actually did pretty decent after getting knocked down. He rallied to score some good punches and puff up Spinks' right eye even more. And they're working on that in the Spinks corner. You can see the end swell being pressed around that right eye to try to alleviate the swelling. Spinks uh, is having trouble seeing out of that eye. B Bobic scored six blows. Leon Spinks scored eight. But again, the knockdown trumps everything. Our three judges, Steeler fan Anthony Crooks and Big Polly, their scorecards have been collected by the New York State Athletic Commission. In the Bobbit corner, they're trying to give Dwayne some confidence. Sometimes Dwayne loses his confidence. Talented fighter. Totally mistrained in the pros in reality. I would have made him an aggressive counterpuncher. I watched and I've seen enough of his amateur stuff on uh, YouTube. You can find some decent stuff. Even the round, I mean, he gets he, he gets knocked out by Stevenson. But you you can find if you can find the whole fight or highlights of it. He he fights very well in round two. He also beat Stevenson in the Pan Am games for the gold medal there. I would have made him an aggressive counterpuncher. And I actually found an article uh, last week at lunch, at lunch, um, that Eddie Futch wanted to make him an aggressive, or wanted to make him a counterpuncher, an aggressive, it would most likely been an aggressive counterpuncher. Because he had a good right hand. He was just too slow trying to get inside. But Joe Frazier wanted to make him a pressure fighter. And that was his downfall. All right, stamina after two rounds gone. Uh, Spinks down to 63. Bobic at 45. Joining us here at ringside, Frank Winscott. Hope all is well. And our good friend, Kurt Berglund. Hope all is well. Check out his wonderful YouTube channel, Kurt Berglin. Of course, Pine Tar Baseball. Here we go for round number three. Spinks will have momentum for round number three. And the bell. It's a three for Leon Spinks. Spinks on the inside. A two for Dwayne Bobick. Bobick still having trouble getting started in this bout. And you know what happens when that happens. You get ratted tatted. And if you're Dwayne Bobick, you get knocked out. A 79 for Spinks. He cannot land in tight. Bobick, no counter. He just ties him up. And they maul, brawl, and referee Dave Gardner breaks them. 240 to go in round number three. Spinks still with momentum. A two for Spinks. Spinks again bores in tight. Working his hands free, a five for Bobic. Bobic backs up a bit, tries to stand his ground, but as he stands his ground, he does not punch. He becomes a human punching bag. An opportunity here for Spinks, and Spinks cannot land. That is an 88. They tie up, they clinch, and Bobic starts to walk Spinks back towards the center of the ring. Referee Dave Gardner breaks them. 2.20 to go in round three. 
a four for Leon Spinks. Spinks now from the outside. Both pugilists really not using their jabs or trying to load up with right hands from distance. A three for Dwayne Bobick. He's from the outside. Toe to toe exchange. And here come the right hands by both pugilists. Spinks will not land with a 73. Dwayne Bobick will land. Bobick with a 10. Booyah! Nails Spinks. And then left right to the body and a chopping right hand. Again to the head of Leon Spinks. Four punches land for Dwayne Bobick. He seemed to recover from that knockdown in round number two. Two minutes ago here in round three. Bobic with Mojo. A three for Leon Spinks. Spinks trying to stay in tight, possibly trying to clear his head. It's a dangerous place to be with Dwayne Bobic in his punching range. A four for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic is able to side maneuver Leon Spinks. It'll be a toe to toe exchange from distance. Bobic with Mojo. Bobic will land with a 12. Big shots by Bobic. Spinks comes back. They're just pounding away. Both fighters land, but Bobic lands with power. That is a 12. Three punches get through as Bobic again with the right hand, left hook, right hand. Spinks, 19. He lands three punches, but he took the brunt of the damage. Will Spinks's chin hold up to it? Spinks is hurt, nine and under, goes down, four and under, and Spinks is down! Leon Spinks goes down in that hellacious toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange ring center. Referee Dave Gardner issues Dwayne Bobick to the neutral corner. Will Leon Spinks get up? He is knocked out three and under. He will get up at the count of seven. Now it's Deja vu, but different. It is Spinks who goes down. He had Bobbick down for a seven count in the prior round, round two. Referee Gardner continues to count to eight. He looks into Spinks's eyes, asks him if he's okay. Do you want to continue? He says yes. 140 to go, and now it is Bobbick. With a chance to end it here, he goes unopposed. The worm has turned. That is a five for Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick is on the outside. Bobbick looking to end it in round three. Another slugfest for Dwayne Bobbick. He had two thrilling bouts with Ronnie Lyle. And Bobbick with a 14. Bobbick with a 14. Three punches get through for Dwayne Bobbick. Referee Dave Gardner looks on as Spinks goes back towards the ropes. TKO check for Spinks. Eight and under, he is done. He grabs on for dear life. Again, the... Three... Twenty... 20's out of... So now we have to check to see if that swelling gets worse again. Because his chin check... Spinks's chin check survived that. 7 and under. It's an 18. Will it be a new abrasion as Sphinx is on the ropes? Sphinx. Facial abrasions. 8 and under. It's an 11. No, but a good rally by Dwayne Bobbick. 120 to go here in round three. Back and forth they go. Unbelievable. Fans on their feet. Madison Square Garden. Two for Leon Spinks. Spinks muscles up in tight. Six. Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick backs up. Spinks comes forward. Bobbick doesn't throw. But Spinks does. Spinks trying to rally after the knockdown. He will not. That's a 71. Spinks misses his shots inside. Bobbick shoves him away. Referee Dave Gardner gives a stern look to Dwayne Bobbick. One more minute left in round number three. And now it's Bobbick trying to take out Leon Spinks. While it was Spinks in the prior round who dropped Dwayne Bobbick, Bobbick's returned the favor. A three for Leon Spinks, one on the inside, a six for Dwayne Bobbick. Nothing on the inside. Again, Bobbick seems to be waiting too long. A 
from the corner. They're screaming for him to let his hands go, but it seems like it's Leon Spinks who's letting his hands go. That's a 14 in tight for Neon Leon Spinks. A four-punch flurry, a two on defense for Dwayne Bobbick. He'll eat another punch. That's five punches that get through for Leon Spinks as he just windmills head and body, then back up to the head. Five punches get through for Leon Spinks. 40 seconds ago in round number three. As Spinks rips away, momentum from Bobbick seems to have cleared his head after the knockdown, very similar to what Bobbick did to Spinks in the prior round. A five for Leon Spinks. Spinks might have punched himself out a bit there. He seems winded. He's on the inside, but he's not letting his hands go yet. He's looking to tie up a six for Bobbick. Bobbick rests for a moment, and now they're going to go at it. In tight, Billy Goat to Billy Goat. Spinks with momentum. Bobbick's going to land with a zero eight. And Spinks on the inside with a 43. He'll land two shots. So Spinks lands a left right to the body. Bobbick with the 08 will land four shots in that combination. Right hand. Again, Bobbick likes to lead with that right. Four punches starting with the right hand, then a double left hook, and another chopping right hand by Bobbick. Bobbick will have momentum. 20 seconds to go in round three. What an unbelievable brawling event we have at the garden between two u.s olympians leon spinks gold medal winner middleweight montreal olympics dwayne bobbick i don't think he medaled he was a 72 olympian got knocked out by talo philo stevenson a man he beat for the gold medal in the pan Am games a year prior in 1971 so a two for spinks that's on the inside, two stars. That's where he wants to be. They're at ring center, both pugilists. A five for Bobbick, and it's Spinks who's going to let his hands go as we come to a conclusion of round number three. And Leon Spinks with a 50 inside, and there is the rat -a -tat. That's a one. Bobbick is a defensive sieve. So that's three shots land at the bell by Spinks. Left, right to the body, and then a left hook to the head, and ding, ding, goes the bell. But Bobbick knocks down Spinks in a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. And Bobbick will take that round 10-8. Spinks sits on his corner. They're working on the swelling and they're telling him, you got caught, don't let it happen again. In the Bobbick corner, a lot more joy than in round two. It was Bobbick who scored the knockdown here. Remember in round two, it was Bobbick who was down. The New York State Athletic Commission will collect the judges' scorecards. And we will be on our way to round four in a moment. Once we do the stamina. Joining us here at ringside, High Lie Heyday. Check out that wonderful channel. Love listening to the High Lie. Always like to be at the fronton with High Lie Heyday. Kurt Berglund, reporting from ringside, is heard being said, No way this goes 10 rounds. Klee Baseball Fan is here. Klee Baseball Fan 879. Check out that wonderful YouTube content. Card and Dice Stratomatic Baseball. C L E B A S E B A L L F A N 879. All one long conglomerate. So, Leon Spinks landed 13 punches but got dropped for an 8 count. Bobbick landed 14. After three rounds, Spinks has landed 38 punches, Bobbick 31, Spinks' is stamina 49, Bobbick 32. We prepare for round number four, scheduled for 10, Madison Square Garden, Clash of Olympians. Someone will go on to bigger and better things, someone will have to regroup. And it was Spinks who landed at the end, he'll have momentum to start round four. And here's the bell for round number four. Boxcar, six and a six, and that's going to favor Spinks from distance. Again, Bobbick is just waiting too long. 
He's got to let his hands go. It's Neon Leon Spinks letting his hands go. And he ratted Tats Bobbick with a four-punch salvo. Again, it's the lead right. He fainted with the jab. Bobbick stepped right to him, caught the lead right square in the face, then a left right to the body, and then a chopping right hand to the head of Dwayne Bobbick. Good combination to start off round number four. We continue with action in round four. Four and a four toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange from distance just outside ring center. As Bobbick forces his way forward, Neon Spink steps back, and that can be dangerous, but they're going to throw toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Bobbick with a 32 will land, 42 for Spinks. Both pugilists land, but Spinks will land harder. So Spinks with a 42 left to the body and a crushing right hand to the jaw of Dwayne Bobbick in this toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Bobbick with a 32. He lands a left right to the body. Bobbick might have been rattled by that punch. Chin check for Bobbick. Bobbick is hurt. Eight and under goes down. Four and under. He's already kissed the canvas once in round two for a seven count. And Bobbick stands up to it. Bobbick stands up to it. We continue. Spinks will still have momentum. 2.20 to go in round four. This has been one hell of a fight. Great matchmaking. A four. That's two, one on the outside for Spinks. A six for Bobbick. Bobbick, again, too slow trying to work his way in. And Spinks will pot shot him as the man from Minnesota moves forward. And Leon Spinks nails Bobbick again, ratatatting him with a four-punch combination, always this time with a chopping right hand, then a left right to the body and a left hook to the head. Four-punch salvo for Leon Spinks. He is looking sharp right now for a man who was knocked down in the prior round. Two minutes ago here in round number four. Kurt Berglund says it won't go 10. A five for Spinks. He's on the inside. A two for Dwayne Bobbick. He's on the outside. Now they meet head-to-head, -head, toe to toe inside. Momentum with Spinks. 69. Spinks will not land. He'll miss his shots. Bobbick won't. Bobbick works hard on the inside. A zero nine. And that is a four punches. Again, a short chopping right hand, a left uppercut, another chopping right hand to the head, and a strong left hook to the side, the rib cage of Leon Spinks. Excellent combination by Dwayne Bobbick. 140 to go in round number four. Bobbick has Mojo. A two for Leon Spinks. Spinks, it's where he wants to be. Two stars on the inside. A five for Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick. Trying to keep Spinks off of him. Spinks dipping, diving, coming out of that crouch, and he will throw. Bobbick is unable to keep Spinks off with the jab or the lead right. And Leon in tight with a 50. And those are big shots by Leon Spinks. He dipped overhand right, coming out of the crouch, and a left hook clipped the jaw. A very, very fragile job, Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick eats both those blows. Bobbick again hurt eight and under, down four and under, and Bobbick grabs on. Referee Dave Gardner breaks them. Spinks with momentum. 120 to go in round four. Oohs and ahs here at Madison Square Garden. We got a wild brawl here, folks. Five for Spinks. Nothing on the inside. Spinks. Trying to muscle up Bobbick and force him back. Bobbick looks to stand his ground. That's a three. Bobbick pulls Spinks to the ropes. Bobbick looking to get his pound of flesh now. Bobbick has Spinks trapped on the ropes. Bobbick. Bobbick lands big. Bobbick lands big. He is raking Spinks over the coals on the ropes. Five punches get through for Leon Spinks. And oh, this is where Spinks is trait comes in that's a six hug it out bobbick landed five punches only one will land but is it enough is it enough should he should we give him a power check i mean a legal blow does land but then he grabs on so we're gonna say no we're gonna say no oh a big opportunity there for bobbick only one punch gets through 
If opponent scores five punches, roll the one D clinch. Or do we score all five punches and he ties up? You know what? That's how we'll do it. He scores five punches, no power check, because he ties up immediately. Spinks is on Queer Street. That's how we're going to score that. That sounds fairer to me. One minute to go. One minute to go. There's no power check because he ties up. He lucked out there. One through six. He rolled a six. But Bobak has momentum. Six and a six. Boxcars. And that's Leon Spinks. Spinks backing up on unsteady legs, it looks like. Bobak, again, his pursuit is too slow. He cannot close the distance fast enough and gives Spinks an opportunity to regroup and throw. And Leon Spinks lands! He catches Bobak coming forward. That is a 17 right hand left hook. And then another right hand to the head. A three punch combination to the head against the fragile jaw of Dwayne Bobak. And those are power punches by Spinks. Bobak ate them all. Bobak eight and under. And Bobak holds on. Back and forth they go. Spinks with momentum. 40 seconds to go in round four. What a brawl. A three and a three. What will it be? This favors Dwayne Bobak in tight. Bobak. Once again, looking to pound Leon Spinks. He will not. That's a 61. He misses his shots in tight. Spinks with a countering opportunity. And Spinks nails him with a two-punch counter. Left hook, right hand. Power and chin check. No. 20 seconds to go. Spinks is going to take a very close, tough fought round here. In our book, four for Spinks, one on the outside, a two for Bobak, nothing on the outside. So Spinks is just more more accurate and just he's letting his hands go. And Spinks will land again at the bell from distance. Zero seven, rat a tat with a four punch combination. This time he does use the jab. A right hand to the body, a left hook to the body, then up to the head with that left hook. 21 punches scored by Leon Spinks. Great combination at the bell, and that solidifies in our eyes a Spinks round. We give that round 10 9 to Spinks. Spinks goes to his stool, and they immediately work on the swelling around his eye with the end swell. So Leon Spinks scored 21 punches against the Civ like defense of Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick stamina down to 11. Bobbick scored 11 punches. That is a 10 punch differential. Spinks' is stamina down to 38. So Bobbick most likely could go fatigued in the upcoming round. 10 punch differential. We'll go to the judges' scorecards. Once again, the judges are Steeler fan, Anthony Crooks, and Big Polly. Your referee is Dave Gardner. The physician, the physician at ringside is Dave Little. The ringside announcer is Kurt Berglin. All right, 10 punch differential. And the judges' scorecards have all been collected. We saw 10 9 for Spinks. You never know how the blind mice see it. As the New York State Athletic Commission collects the cards, we prepare for round five. We're coming up on the midway point of this scheduled 10 round heavyweight clash here at Madison Square Garden. Spinks with momentum. They're telling Bobbick, a tiring Dwayne Bobbick, let your hands go, let your hands go. Punch and punch hard. In the Sphinx corner, they're worried about that swelling. Sphinx is still complaining when the referee walks away. He's having trouble seeing out of that puffed up uh, right eye. Here we go, round number five. Bobbick down to 11 stamina points. Sphinx still with 38. And there's the bell. A six for Leon Spinks. He's on the outside looking to pot shot Bobbick as he steps forward. A four for Bobbick. Bobbick 
Steps in, it's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange from distance. Spinks with momentum. Spinks with a 53 will not land. Bobic will not land with a 79, and Bobic was loading up. He threw big punches, but he did not land. Neither pugilist lands in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Round five continues. A one for Spinks. Nothing on the outside. A two for Bobic. Nothing on the outside. They're going to go at it again. Will they land? Well, I'll tell you who won't land. Leon Spinks, that's a 91, and that will force a clinch. That is a clinch. Bobic was going to miss anywhere, but it doesn't matter. 2.20 to go. 2.20 to go in round five. Boxcar, six in a six favor. Neon, Leon Spinks. Spinks looking to, oop, there goes that dice. Looking to land the lead right, and he will not. That's a 96. A 96 for Leon Spinks. Possible foul. Also, that shot looked on the border. Spinks fouls. Six and under, it's an eight. No foul. So he, Dave Gardner says it was on the belt line. It's good. Two minutes ago in round five. A four for Spinks. He's on the outside. A two for Bobic. Bobic's on the outside. Again, Spinks is just quicker with letting his hands go. But will he be accurate? He's going to throw his shots. And he is very accurate, very accurate with those punches. That is a 0-6. Holy cow. 0-6 from distance. Four punches get through their hard shots on the fragile chin of Dwayne Bobbick. And again, he goes back to that lead right hand. Double left hook, one to the Labanza, one to the jaw, and then a chopping right hand. Bobbick absorbs them all. He gets nailed. Bobbick hurt. Eight and under, and Bobic is hurt. So when Bobic is hurt, we re we re-roll. If it's a one through five, it nullifies Spinks going unopposed, and Bobic cannot tie up. Spinks will go unopposed as Bobic backs up towards the ropes. Bobic dangerously dangerously close to fatigue. Let's keep an eye on that. Spinks landed four. Bobic down to seven. Stamina points. So Bobic is hurt. Spinks goes unopposed. I don't remember if I rolled. 120 to go in round. We'll just roll again. It's a four anyway. So a four on the outside. Spinks looking to end it here against a fading Dwayne Bobic. Both pugilists have been down. Spinks is swelling up. But now Spinks has Bobic on the ropes hurt. Spinks needs three punches for a will check. And he's not going to get it with a 77. That is not a lucky 77. Spinks a little too over anxious with his punches. Bobic tries to slide away from the ropes, and he does. Spinks a little bit winded. He's huffing and puffing a bit. One minute to go on round five. Opportunity lost by Leon Spinks. A six for Spinks. That's one on the outside. A five for Bobic. That's one on the outside. That This will be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange towards ring center. Spinks with Mojo. And that is a 59. Spinks will not land with the 59 from distance. Bobic will land with the 36. And Bobic with big punches. 36 for Dwayne Bobic. Left hook, right hand. Crash upon the cranium of Leon Spinks. Chin check. Oh, that was a 20 because he missed his punches. This was a 20. So the chin check holds up. That was a 20. That's a, if He missed his punches, so then I just take that roll. So Bobic lands two hard shots, but Spinks absorbed them 40 seconds to go. Bobic might get through this round with still some stamina points. Round five coming to a conclusion. A one for Spinks. Spinks felt those Bobic punches. He's backing up. He's trying to move a bit. Not Spinks' forte. A six for Bobic. Bobic, Bobic tracking him down. Pinning Spinks back. Now they're going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe inside. Bobic with momentum. Bobic with a 57 inside. He'll miss. Spinks with a 90. He will tie up. 20 seconds ago, referee Dave Gardner breaks them. Bobic, this is still a round up for grabs. It's gotten slow, sloppy, mauling, and brawling. Bobic threw the best combination. 
uh, with power, but Spinks also, actually Spinks landed, the two combinations landed were both with good shots, Spinks a four-punch salvo, Bobbick with two-punch salvo. Here we come to a conclusion of round five, a four for Spinks, that's one on the outside, a one for Bobbick, one on the inside, Bobbick forces Spinks back towards the ropes, toe-to-toe -to -toe as we come to a conclusion of round five, Bobbick with a double zero! Spinks with a 52. Spinks, power check, nil. Bobbick with a double zero. Five punches land, that we know. Will there be, and there's the power, it was a two. But now Spinks gets to roll. Does he tie up at the end of this round? One through six, there's no chin check. And he ties him up. Unbelievable. So that comes into play, but we give Bobbick those punches. That's the way I play it. It just makes sense. Not just one punch, but all the punches get through. But Spinks, by tying him up, again, he has the hug it out trait. It nullifies. Now think about this. Had he not had that, that's a three. Spinks would have been down. But because he has the hug it out trait, we roll to see if he ties him up, and he does. But Bobbick rallies to win that round in our eyes, 10-9, and he still has some stamina points. Bobbick, seven punches. Bobbick only landed two big combinations, but that was enough to take the round. Leon Spinks had ha, Leon Spinks had that one big combo early on, but that was it. Punch differential is only three, so this is a very close round. Um, Bobbick down to seven stamina points. Spinks still with thirty-one. Overall numbers: Spinks has landed sixty-three punches. Bobbick. 49. So again, this is a close round. Three punch different differential. And the judges' scorecards have been collected as we prepare for round number six. Bobic sucking wind in his corner. Spinks, they continue to work on that swelling around the right eye. Bobbick went down in the second for a seven count, came back strong to puff up Spinks's eye again as he puffed him up in the first. And then Bobbick came back in the third to drop Spinks. Spinks badly hurt Bobbick in the fourth. Both men seemed a bit weary in the fifth. The combinations that were landed, the punches that were landed, were hard, but just not enough. Bobbick down to seven stamina points as we prepare for round number six. Hockey Unreal has joined us at ring, ringside. Check out that wonderful card and dice hockey channel. Hockey Unreal. Two words. Hockey Unreal. We also have Kurt Berglund, Klee Baseball Fan 879. Hi, Lie Heyday, and Frank Wainscott. Thank you very much. So, Bobbick will have momentum. Unofficially, we have Spinks up 47 46. Our scorecard is unofficial. We don't know about the judges. Our three scoring judges, if it comes to that, Steeler fan, Anthony Crooks, and Big Polly. The referee is Dave Gardner. The ringside physician is Dave Little. And our ringside announcer is Kurt Berklin with wonderful, wonderful vocals. And this Tuesday Night at the Fights is brought to you by Lakeside Beef. If you want to beef up and knock out your opponent, eat some Lakeside Beef. It's a knockout. All righty. We prepare for round number six. A tiring Dwayne Bobbitt comes off his stool. Spinks is off his stool. There's the bell for round six. A six for Leon Spinks, one on the outside. A five for Dwayne Bobbitt, one on the outside. Toe to toe they go. Could this be the last hurrah for Dwayne Bobbitt? As he is tiring badly. And Bobbitt's going to land with a 34 Spinks with a 35. Spinks with the bigger punches. So 34 for Dwayne Bobbick. Three punches. Uh, I'm sorry. Two punches get through right left to the head of Leon Spinks. But Spinks' punches are crisper and harder. That is a 35 from distance. He gets through with the same combination. 
And will Bobic's chin hold up? Bobic hurt eight and under, down four and under, and Bobic is down for a second time. Dwayne, I'm sorry, a th uh, yeah, a second time. Bobic goes down in a thud as round six starts. A toe to toe combination. Both fighters threw left rights. Both fighters landed, and as Bobic was landing his left, Leon Spinks was landing his left, and it was a bit harder. Will Bobic beat the count? He is, so that's two punches landed, so he still has five stamina points. Bobic is knocked out five and under, and he will rise at the count of four. A fatiguing Dwayne Bobic will get up at the count of four. Second time Bobic has been down. Referee Dave Garner continues his count. The mandatory eight count is in effect. So that's two more punches landed by Spinks. And let's just track that. Bobic down to five stamina points. Referee Gardner asks Bobic if he wants to go. He says yes. Spinks will go unopposed. So technically, when you get knocked down, I'm trying to. This is the first time I play with the survivor trait. He would be hurt, right? All right, so if we if Bobic rolls one through five, Spinks unopposed segment is nullified, and no one obviously no one lands anything. It's a thirteen. Spinks will go unopposed. It's a two. Bobic cannot tie him up. Bobic is forced back to the ropes, and Leon Spinks looking to end it as they're screaming from his corner to end it. That swelling's getting worse around the Spinks eye. The two for Leon Spinks is on the inside. He pins Bobby. Oh, those are big punches by Leon Spinks. Big punches. That is a 28. Spinks' punching power when he has someone hurt goes to a four, but we still rolled a three. Bobic survives the TKO check with a 16, but the 28. Spinks banging away to the body now up to the head. And again, it's a short chopping right hand in that three punches that land that could do damage. To Dwayne Bobic, another chin check for Bobic. Bobic again, he will go down eight. I mean, he's hurt eight and under, down four and under, and Bobic ties up this time. He survives that. 2.20 to go in round six. Bobic down to two stamina points. Round six continues. I don't know how much longer Bobic will last. Uh, three for Spinks. Spinks keeps Bobic pinned on those ropes. A one for Bobic. It's a toe to toe exchange inside. Bobic back to the ropes. Stamina points going. Bye bye for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic with a 27 will land. Leon Spinks with a 97 will not. And Bobic, what bad luck. That's a one. But who has momentum? Leon Spinks. It's a 97, but it's not a clinch. Bad luck for Leon Spinks. I thought it was a clinch. It is a foul check for Leon Spinks. Spinks is tagged coming in. Spinks is tagged coming in. No foul. I guess that's where we'll play that. Here's a chin check for Spinks. He's hurt nine and under, down four and under, and Spinks survives that. Both fighters. Oh, Bobic lands two. Spinks landed nothing. Bobic has momentum and still two stamina points. Two minutes to go in round six. Two for Spinks. Spinks again trying to pin Bobic to the ropes after he got ratatatted. Uh, six for Bobic. Bobic is not punching back. Bobic seems defenseless. Spinks, like a shark smelling blood in the water, going for the kill. And he cannot. That is a 98. And again, that is a possible foul. One punch does land for Leon Spinks. Bobic down to one stamina point as that's on the belt line. Dave Gardner lets it go, but he's gonna Spinks is gonna be admonished for something. That's a three. What will it be? It's a seven. 
And Spinks is admonished for using his head on the inside. Spinks is warned. Headbutt. We continue on. 140 to go. 140 to go in round six. Spinks has landed seven, uh, six punches. Bobbick down to one stamina point. Some bad luck by Dwayne Bobbick. 140. Is it 120? I guess it's 120. I don't remember. 120 to go. Five for Leon Spinks. Spinks tries to keep Bobbick on the ropes, but he's not punching at the moment. A two for Bobbick. It's going to be a toe to toe exchange. Bobbick slides off the ropes from distance. Bobbick with momentum. He will not, uh, not land. That's a 60, and neither will Leon Spinks. That's an 85. As the action moves towards ring center, one minute left in round six. A very fatiguing Bobbick moving forward. Hands not held high. A one for Spinks. Nothing on the outside. A four for Bobbick. One on the outside. This could be the last Hail Mary opportunity. Bobbick launches a right hand at the jaw of Leon Spinks, and he's going to land. He is going to land. That is a 0-7. He lands in a big way. Four punches get through. That right hand. Left hook to the jaw, right to the body, and a left uppercut. Four punches get through for Dwayne Bobbick. Uh, Spinks' defense is a four. A fifth punch gets through. A chopping right hand, and Spinks is blinking. Spinks is blinking. One through seven. That swelling goes for a third time, and a possible TKO check. Thirteen, no. Is it new? One through eight. Yes. What is it? A 20. Blood from the nose of Leon Spinks. Spinks. With a bloody nose. 40 seconds to go. Bobic still with one stamina point and momentum. He's got to do it now. A five for Spinks. Spinks trying to tie up. He's blinking. There's blood coming from his nose. He's having trouble bleed, uh, breathing. A six for Bobic. This is a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange inside. Bobic with momentum. Bobic does not land. 88. Spinks does. That will put Bobic fatigued. The 20 on the inside as Spinks goes right to the jaw, left right to the body. Three punches land for Leon Spinks. And Dwayne Bobbick is fatigued. Bobbick will be less minus one punch on all punches landed. And we go to his fatigue column for all checks now. Spinks has mojo. Final 20 seconds in round six. A two for Spinks. Spinks backs Bobbick up to the ropes looking to end it. As we come to a conclusion of round six, a one for Bobbick. Bobbick is just none able, unable to throw punches. And Neon Leon, here comes Mr. Spinks trying to land what his brother would call the Spinks Jinx. He will not. 84. He misses. No counter by a tiring Bobbick. Ding, ding goes the bell so nine punches landed by leon spinks nine punches landed by Dwayne bobbick we're gonna get we're, we're giving the round unofficially even now they're working on the bloody nose of spinks in the corner as well as the swelling around the right eye in the bobbick corner he is exhausted. He has gone fatigued. So his punching power goes from a 4 to a 1. His chin check, he's hurt 12 and under, down 7 and under, and he's KO'd 9 and under. His will check is 11. So Spinks has a big opportunity to take out Dwayne Bobbick. Bobbick has been down twice. Spinks has been down once. Bobbick has been also hurt. Spinks was able to grab on to nullify a possibility of being hurt. His hug it out trade has come into play a couple of times and helped him. All right, this isn't 10 punches landed by both pugilists.
And the judges' scorecards have been collected. Once again, our three scoring judges, Steeler fan, Anthony Crooks, and Big Polly. We saw it even. How will the three scoring judges see it? We shall find out at the end of the bout. We have it 57-56 for Spinks. But again, uh, Bobic is tired. The fatigue came at the conclusion of round six, but we'll just mark it in round seven. And we'll prepare for round seven. So far, Spinks still has 22 stamina points. Spinks has scored 72 punches. Bobic, 58. Spinks is just letting his hands go, and he's more accurate and a little bit quicker. Spinks will have momentum as we begin round seven. Our ringside physician, Dave Little, has joined us in the chat. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Here we go. Round number seven. Bobic is gassed. An energized, puffed up, bloody Leon Spinks comes bouncing off his stool, thinking he can stop Dwayne Bobic. Six for Leon Spinks. One on the outside, looking to land that overhand right. A five for Dwayne Bobic. One on the outside. It's a toe to toe exchange. Bobic fatigued. Spinks still with some gas in the tank. Bobic, 48. He will not land from distance. 54 for Spinks. He will not land. Swing and a miss, bad about it. 240 to go in round number seven. A1 for Leon Spinks. Spinks, he's starting to breathe a little heavy. And again, he's looking to clip Bobbitt coming in with that right hand, that lead right. A4 for Bobbitt. Bobbitt dips, comes up. He's going to come in firing, catching Spinks off guard. A fatiguing Bobbitt will throw, but he will not land. That is a 94 from distance. And he falls into a clinch. Two minutes ago. Two minutes ago in round seven. Spinks might be letting an opportunity go by here. A five for Spinks on the inside. He's not working though. A three for Bobic. Bobic's gonna work. Bobic digging down. Remember, it looked like he had he was gonna get knocked out in round two against Ronnie Lyle in the rematch after their controversial draw and it was Bobic who knocked out Ron Lyle he's trying to do something once again here on the inside Bobic throws and he will land zero five but it's out of his punching power it's only it would he's fatigued so that's bad break he's tired a little zip off his punches but the zero five on the inside four out of five land for Dwayne Bobic chopping punches Effective punches, but just not big enough punches. Spinks absorbs them all. Bobic with momentum. Tired or not, two minutes ago, there's no quit in Dwayne Bobic. A five for Leon Spinks on the inside. Again, he's not working his hands right now. A six for Bobic. Both pugilists tie up. Referee Dave Gardner says, work your way out and fight. And that's just what they will do. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Ring center. Bobic with momentum. Bobic with a 75 on the inside does not land. A 33 for Leon Spinks. He does land. He ratatats two shots to the body, the left, right, and then a chopping right hand to the head. Three punches get through for Leon Spinks. Spinks has momentum. 140 to go in round number seven. A one for Spinks. Nothing on the outside. A two for Bobic. Nothing on the outside. Toe to toe exchange. Spinks with Mojo. Leon Spinks with a 14 will land. Bobic with a 0 9 will land. Again, Bobic. There's no quit in Dwayne Bobic. That is a 1 4 for Spinks. And he's going to land three shots. Again, he likes to, he's coming with that lead right hand, but then he goes left to the body, left to the head. So three punches get through for Leon Spinks. Bobic with a 0 9. Three out of four land due to fatigue. Again, the snap is not there on the Bobic punches, but he's he's standing, he's trading. 120 to go. Spinks still with Mojo. 
And that is a six for Leon Spinks. Spinks from the outside. He feints with the jab. Looks to set up that right hand. A three for Bobic. As he feints, Bobic dips under and gets in tight. Bobic's going to bang away to the body, then up to the head. Bobic needs a miracle. Is there one left in his punches? 46 inside. Bobic will land one shot. He missed with a chopping right hand. Spinks was able to block it, but the left hook to the Labanza got through. One minute to go in round seven. Bobic, a tiring Bobic with momentum. A five for Leon Spinks. Spinks on the inside seems to want to rest. A six for Bobic. He rests only for a moment, and toe-to-toe -to -toe they go. In tight, Bobic with momentum. Bobic with a 93, and that will be a clinch, nullifying the Spinks punches, and they were hard punches right there. They would have been good shots. 40 seconds to go as the fighter with momentum nullifies anything else. A six for Leon Spinks. He steps back a bit. Bobic moves towards him with a five, and it's going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange as both have one star on the outside. And Bobic still with momentum, but Bobic cannot land. That's a 93, and that is a clinch from distance. Nullifying the Spinks punches again, which would have been big punches. You see there. So Bobic is tying up. He is tired. 20 seconds to go. A 3 and a 2. One on the inside for Spinks. Nothing on the outside for Bobic. As Bobic tries to tie up, Spinks is able to pry his arms and hands away from Bobic and as we come to a conclusion of round seven Spinks cannot land and they were huge shots he missed Bobic counters one through four and it's a six and ding ding goes the bell Leon Spinks really loading up but a bit wild there a slow sloppy mauling brawling round Spinks scored six Bobic scored eight and you know what we give that to Dwayne Bobic 10-9 a tired Dwayne Bobic on our unofficial scorecard has just tied it up at 66-66. So again, Bobic scored 8. Spinks has only scored 6. We have seen 3 knockdowns in this fight. Bobic's been down twice. Once in the 2nd for a 7 count. Once in the 6th for a 4 count. He was hurt in the 4th. Spinks went down for a 7 count in the the third, his eye was started to swell up in the first, it got worse in the second, and then Bobic, after going down, bloodied Spinks's nose as Spinks pressed the attack. Punch differential is two. This is a very close round. How will it go? Two punches favoring Dwayne Bobic. So the judges' scorecards have been collected by the New York State Athletic Commission, the Boxing Commission. We prepare for round number eight. Ringside the, the ring announcer, Kurt Berglund, says it won't go ten. Well, we're almost there. You never know. Bobic will have momentum. Bobic went fatigued at the end of round six. We prepare for round eight. Spinks still has four stamina points. Philip Reynolds has joined us here at ringside. Here we go for round number eight. Total punches landed 78 for Spinks, 66 for Bobic. It has been a fun, exciting fight, though the pugilists are getting tired and there are less punches being landed. But still, the fans are into it at Madison Square Garden. Hats off to the matchmaker, Al Red Sox fan. A six for Spinks, one on the outside. A two for Bobic, nothing on the outside. Again, Bobic is tired. Even when he wasn't tired, he was getting beat to the punch on most of these occasions. And now Spinks will throw, Spinks will land, but just out of his power. That's a four, but it's a good combination. And Spinks doubles up on his jab, and a straight right hand snaps the head of Bobic. 2.40 to go in round 8. A 2 for Spinks. Spinks now forcing Bobic back. Bobic wants to try to stand his ground, tired or not. He doesn't want to be pinned to those ropes. Bobic trying to fight. Spinks out-muscling 
the bigger Dwayne Bobick on the inside and Leon Neon Leon throws. That's a 23. 23 for Spinks in tight and chopping right hand, left hook to the head, right uppercut to the head. Three punches get through by Neon Leon Spinks. And Bobick is blinking. Bobick suffers facial damage eight and under, and it's a seven. What will it be? For Dwayne Bobbick, a five. And that's going to be swelling right eye here in round eight for Dwayne Bobbick. So it's all going Spinks's way. 220 to go in round number eight. A five and a three. What will it be? We shall see. Spinks, nothing on the inside. Again, he's getting in tight, looking to rest a bit. Clutch grab and punch. Will Bobbick? Oblige with a three. Bobbick will not oblige as Bobbick muscle spinks back a bit, kind of pushes him off balance, and Dwayne Bobbick will throw. And Bobbick will not land. Bobbick will not land as that's a 56. Spinks, no counter. Two minutes to go in round eight. Bobbick has not landed a scoring blow. A three for Leon Spinks, one on the inside. A five for Dwayne Bobbick, one on the outside. Toe to toe, they go inside. Spinks has momentum. And Leon Spinks with a 50. He's going to land two shots. And Bobbick will not land. That's an 85. That was a 50. So the 85 in tight. Bobbick will clinch, nullifying any type of power. But there is none because it's 11. But the, the two punches land for Spinks. And that was a chopping right hand, left hook to the body by Leon Spinks. 140 to go in round eight. Bobbick is dead tired. A six for Spinks. This would be a nice feather in Spinks's cap to stop Dwayne Bobbick, who drew with Ronnie Lyle and then knocked him out in the rematch. So a six for Spinks, one on the outside. A five for Bobbick, one on the outside. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. And these exchanges are very dangerous for Dwayne Bobbick. He is very tired. And that's a 97... And a 93. So, the 97 is a possible foul. No foul. It's a 15, but Spinks does land on the border. Another punch lands for Leon Spinks. Bobbick was throwing as hard as he could, but that's a 39. Well, actually, that's a 39, not a 93. 39 from distance. Bobbick will land one shot, and again, it's out of his power range by one. So Bobbick finally gets through the punch, and he'll have momentum because his punch was a, really a legal blow. Round eight continues. Dominant round for Spinks as he's trying to close the show. A three and a three, what will it be? It'll be Bobbick on the inside, action towards ring center as Bobbick backs up. Spinks, Spinks showing some fatigue. Bobbick blinking. He's got that swelling around that right eye. And Bobbick with a 65 in tight will not land. There will be no uh, 6. Leon Spinks does not counter on that. He counters 1 through 4. One minute to go in round number 8. A 5 and a 4. Spinks resting on the inside. Bobbick shoves him away. Bobbick looking to land a right hand after the jab. And he will not. That's a 54. As that's not. So if Bobbick. Counter by Spinks. Spinks clips Bobbick. Two shots. Oh, Nelly. Power and chin check. No. Spinks has mojo. 40 seconds to go in round eight. Oh, Leon Spinks. Dave Gardner looking on. Looking to jump in if Bobbick gets hurt. A five for Spinks. Spinks on the inside. Again, seeming to rest a bit. A one for Bobbick. Bobbick's going to let his hands go before Spinks does as Bobbick muscles him back a bit, shoves him away, and he will throw as we're starting to come. Oh, a zero eight for Bobbick. Bobbick will land in tight. Dwayne Bobbick lands three out of four. Chopping right hand. Wild left hook misses, and then a left right to the body. Does land. Four punches landed for Dwayne Bobbick in total in this round. 20 seconds to go. Bobbick with momentum. Spinks will win this round unless Bobbick gets a miracle knockdown. Four for Spinks. One on the outside. Three for Bobbick. Two on the inside. Bobbick, he's reaching down. He gets his way inside. Again, he's very slow afoot. But Spinks waiting a little too long. 
Bobic throws 57. He misses. Spinks countering opportunity. Will land two shots. Right left on the jaw of the tiring and withering Dwayne Bobic. Chin and power check. And ding ding goes the bell. As Bobic slowly goes back to his corner. I don't know what they can do to revive him. Probably not much. Four punches scored by Dwayne Bobic. Spinks still has 10 stamina points as we approach round nine. Spinks landed 13 punches. He had some good counter punching in that final minute of round eight. We give that round as they work the right eye with Enswell in the Bobic corner as well as the Spinks corner. You can see the nose apparel, you know, the things that look like uh, Q-tips up the nose of Leon Spinks as they're trying to control the bloody nose. They've done a fairly good job in the Spinks corner. And now Bobic's dealing with some swelling in his corner. So we give round eight to Spinks, 10-9. Punch differential is nine in favor of Spinks. Judges scorecards. They've all been collected by the New York State Athletic Boxing Commission. We come down to our final six minutes of pugilistic combat. So after eight rounds, we have Leon Spinks up 76-75. Our scorecard is unofficial. Bobic will have momentum to start off. Round nine. Bobic is fatigued. His punching power is a one. If he somehow hurts Leon Spinks, he'll go to a four on the next roll. And, that, and then go back to a one. Bobic fatigued at their end of round six. Spinks still has ten stamina points. Here we go. Round number nine. Round number nine. Three for Leon Spinks, one on the inside, five for Dwayne Bobic, one on the outside. It's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Outside, Bobic has momentum. Bobic with a 12. He will land. He doesn't get the miracle roll. Spinks with a 0-8, so they're going to pound away ring center. Bobic with a 12 lands two out of three, and he's throwing, but there's not a lot of zip on those punches. Spinks with a 0-8 lands four shots. Spinks will have momentum he's, as he is snapping Bobic's head. He's definitely getting the better of these exchanges. 2.40 to go in round number nine. Spinks with Mojo, six for Leon. One on the outside, three for Bobic, two on the inside. Bobic's trying to rally. He is digging deep. And that's a 0-7 for Dwayne Bobic. On the inside, pushing Spinks back. Left, right to the body. Left hook misses when he doubled up on it, but the chopping right hand clips the jaw of Spinks. Spinks standing up to it. 2.20 to go. Spinks down to five stamina points now as we watch Spinks' stamina. In round nine, Bobic will have momentum. A one for Spinks. Nothing on the outside. Spinks takes a deep breath and backs up. A two for Dwayne Bobic. Bobic pursues. It's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange from distance. Again, Bobic still has momentum. Bobic with a 19 is going to land. And Spinks with a 48 will not land from distance. So Bobic with that 19 left jab. He hasn't used that too much. That caught Spinks in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Right hand grazed him. That's not a scoring blow. But then a left hook to the body hit Leon Spinks. Two punches land for Leon. Spinks will be down to three stamina points. As we continue with round nine, two minutes to go. A good start to round nine by a fatigued Dwayne Bobic. Spinks is getting there. You can see he's really trying to conserve his energy. He looks tired already. A four for Spinks, one on the outside, a one for Bobic, one on the inside. Bobic forces his way in, pressing Spinks back. Toe to toe in tight. Bobic with Mojo. Bobic with a 31. Bobic will land. Spinks will land with a 19, uh, with a 16. So Bobic with a 31 in tight. He lands two out of three. A left to the body, a chopping right hand, but the left uppercut missed. 
Bob uh, Spinks in the toe to toe exchange with a 16. He lands three punches. Short shots on the inside, all to the Bobic head. 19. So now we will see one through seven. The swelling gets worse. It is a six. And referee Dave Gardner, that's the third time for swelling. Referee Dave Gardner has called a halt to the action. So he brings him over to the ropes. They're calling for the ringside physician, Dave Little. That's a third time. Dr. Little looking. One through three. This fight's over. It is a nine. He says, let it continue. 140 to go. 140 to go in round nine. And now there's anxious moments in the mind of Leon Spinks and in his corner. Uh, Spinks, uh, uh, Bobbick's landed nine punches now. Spinks has one stamina point left. 120 to go. Five for Leon Spinks. Nothing on the inside. He's gassed. He seems gassed. A three for Bobbick. Bobbick again forcing his way inside. Oh my lord. Can Bobbick pull off the miracle here at Madison Square Garden? They'll forever call it the Madison Square Garden miracle. He will not with that roll. That is an 88. He misses his shot. Oh, what was that? Uh, three on the inside. 88. That is a clinch. That is a clinch. One minute to go in round nine. They're screaming from the Bobbit corner. They're screaming from the Bobbit corner. You got him. You got him. Let your hands go, Dwayne. Let your hands go. A three for Spinks. One on the inside. A five for Bobbick. One on the outside. Toe to toe exchange from distance. Bobbick with Mojo. Bobbick with a 42. He will not land. Spinks with a 0 6. He will land. So Spinks still with that one stamina point, zero six from distance for Neon Leon Spinks. He ratatats Bobic as he reaches down four punch salvo, and Bobic backs up a little bit on Queer Street. Forty seconds ago, Spinks has Mojo. Round nine coming to a conclusion. Spinks looking to take out Bobic as that eye is getting worse. A five for Spinks. Spinks trying to. Muscle up on the inside. He's seeming to rest for a moment. As six for Bobbick. They rest for just seconds. Referee Dave Gardner says, fight your way out. And that's just what they'll do. Spinks with momentum. Spinks on the inside with a 62 will not land. And Dwayne Bobbick with a 04 will land. And those were huge shots by Spinks. That was a one, but he didn't land. Bobbick lands with a 04 in tight. Three out of four land for Dwayne Bobbick. We go to the final 20 seconds. Spinks trapped on the ropes. Bobbick trying his darndest to take out Neon Leon Spinks. And both fighters are now fatigued. Let's make sure we have that. Final seconds of round number nine. Boxcar six and a six. That favors Neon Leon Spinks. He's going to try to fight his way off the ropes. Conclusion of round nine. 54. Spinks will land one shot. Three on defense. He's going to land two shots. He would have landed two. Plus the one would have been three, but he's fatigued. And ding, ding goes the bell. So Spinks lands two shots. And that's a 13 to 12 round. Holy cow. I give that even. I give that round even. That was a I, I would have been I was leaning Bobbick, but Spinks with that last flurry with those two out of three punches getting through. He lands 13. Bobbick lands 12. I give it even. Both fighters will be fatigued. As we go into round 10. Spinks tired late in round 9. I give it even. So it's 86-85 unofficially Spinks on our scorecard. 
Total punches landed Spinks, 104, Bobic, 82. Punch differential, 1, favoring Spinks. The commission will collect the scorecards of our scoring judges, Steeler fan, Anthony Crooks, and Big Polly. And the scorecards have been collected by the New York State Athletic Boxing Commission. We come down to our final three minutes of boxing. In the Bobbick corner, they're telling him he needs a knockout. They don't feel as good as I do right here by one point. They say at least a knockdown. In the Sphinx corner, they say you need to win this round. Sphinx will have momentum. Final three minutes of boxing. Sphinx, Sphinx is puffed up and bloodied from the nose. Bobak has a swollen right eye. Dave Garner says touch gloves. Bueno Fortuna. And here we go, final three minutes of combat here at Madison Square Garden. Fans on their feet. Boxcars, that favors Leon Spinks on the outside. So Leon Spinks trying to start the round off right, but he will not. That is an 89 from distance. And he will miss. Is there a counter? No, five, just out of Bobbick's countering range. 240 to go in the fight. Four for Leon Spinks, one on the outside, two for Bobbick, nothing on the outside. So Spinks, heeding the advice from his corner, he's letting his hands go. He is throwing. And on the outside, 46, he misses. No counter by an exhausted Dwayne Bobbick. 220 left in the bout. Three for Leon Spinks. One on the inside. One on the inside for Bobbick. Toe to toe they go. Ring center. Spinks with Mojo. Spinks with a 68 will not land. And Bobbick with a 64 will not land. They tie up. Referee Gardner pries them apart. Two minutes to go in the bout. Snake Eyes. One and a one favors Bobbick inside. As Bobbick stepped right in after referee Gardner broke them. And Bobbick with a 48 inside. He will land one shot. A left to the body, the right hand to the head was partially blocked and did not score. Bobbick has momentum, 140 to go in this bout, 140 to go. A five for Leon Spinks. Spinks is exhausted as well as Bobbick. Spinks not punching inside. Bobbick is going to punch, though. Dwayne Bobbick is going to punch. They're screaming from his corner. You have an opportunity, but opportunity lost with an 88. That is a clinch. 120 to go. 120 to go in the bout. Six for Leon Spinks. Spinks trying to keep a little bit of distance and use his jab. They say one, two, Leon, one, two, and move. A one for Bobbick. Bobbick steps forward. It's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange inside. Bobbick with Mojo. Bobbick with a 49. He's going to land. And oh my lord, there's the miracle one. 49. Uh, Spinks misses with a 75. That now becomes the chin check. Leon Spinks is down! Unbelievable! The right hand clips Leon Spinks, and Spinks goes down! The crowd is screaming here at Madison Square Garden! That was a 75. Holy cow! Leon Spinks will be knocked out eight and under. Eight and under! And he gets up. He gets up at the count of two. Referee Gardner continues with the mandatory eight. Both fighters have now been down twice. Bobbick in the neutral corner. They're screaming, take him out. Here we go. Final minute. 
in an unbelievable wild brawl. A six for Spinks, one on the outside, a two for Bobbick, nothing on the outside. And Spinks looking just a pot shot with a jab and move. Spinks will throw, and Spinks will land. A 13 from distance. Two jabs, but the right hand misses. Spinks with momentum, 40 seconds to go. Spinks will lose this round 10-8 unless he drops Bobbick. A four for Spinks, one on the outside. A five for Bobbick, one on the outside. Toe to toe. This is where, where Spinks got dropped a little, a few moments ago. But not a uh, night. Uh, no, ninety-one, and that is a clinch. So whatever Spinks does, his punches will land, and then Bobbick clinches. Thirty-seven from distance, and that's only one shot that lands with Leon Spinks, and that's to the body, and Bobbick ties him up. Bobbick shot both barrels of their shotgun with that right hand. A chopping right hand that drops Spinks. Final 20 seconds of the bout. Fans on their feet here at Madison Square Garden. Unfreaking believable. A four for Spinks, one on the outside. A five for Bobbick, one on the outside. Ring center as we come to a conclusion of an unbelievable fan friendly fight. Toe to toe, Spinks with Mojo. Bobbick with a 49. And that was from distance. Let's just double check. Yeah, so he's going to miss. Spinks with a 44. He's going to land one punch. And ding, ding goes the bell. Holy cow. But Spinks was down. And that will be a 10-8 round for Bobbick. We have Bobbick unofficially winning 95-94. Unbelievable. Bobbick landed two punches. But one of those punches dropped Spinks. Spinks landed four. Overall punches, when Spinks had rounds, he had big rounds. When Bobbick won, they were closer. Spinks landed 108 punches, Bobbick 84. The commission collects the scorecards for one final time. As Kurt Berglund says, like I said, this fight is definitely going 10. What a fun fight. I didn't think it was going to go 10 either. So, Bobbick is in his corner. He's asking his corner, did I win? Always Bobbick with a lack of confidence. Leon Spinks, in his corner, believes he has won the bout. And we will go... We will go to the decision. As Dave Gardner collects the scorecards, goes over it with the New York State Athletic Boxing Commission, he will then hand them to the ring announcer, Kurt Berglund. Hats off to ringside physician Dave Little, allowing the bout to continue. But that will be a bone of contention in the Bobbitt corner and to the fans, as they felt the fight should have been stopped. We scored it unofficially. For Dwayne Bobbick, 95-94. First round, Spinks, 10-9. Second round, uh, Spinks, 10-8. He dropped Bobbick. Third round, 10-8, Bobbick. He dropped Spinks. Fourth round, Spinks, 10-9. He hurt Bobbick. Bobbick won round 5-10-9. We gave it even in round 6 as Bobbick... Oh, wait a second. That can't be. That should be a 10-8 round. I was wondering how the hell we had it. I was going to say, Bobbick went down. That's a, that's my typo. I was, I, I was trying to figure out how the hell we had in my head. Okay, so that's a 10-8 round. We have, now we've got the correct score. I was, I was trying to figure that out. I'm like, how the hell is that? Bobbick, we have Bobbick losing by a point, 94-93. Because Bobbick went down for a four count, and then Bobbick rallied at the end. And that, that's a 10-8. By accident, I put 10-10. Bobbick won... Round 7, 10-9. Bobbick lost round 8, 10-9. 10-10, round 9. Bobbick takes round 10 by dropping Spinks. One out of two punches. He, I mean, he landed only two punches. One of them dropped Spinks, 10-8. All that said, we have the correct scoring unofficially. We have Leon Spinks winning 94-93. As I was going through my head going, that score doesn't look right. <laughs> That's why we double check. Okay, now... Kurt Berglund has got 
the scorecards from Dave Gardner. He calls for the microphone to be dropped down from the ceiling here at Madison Square Garden. Kurt Berglund says, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to two fine pugilists. And the crowd on its feet gives a standing ovation. It was one heck of a fight, one heck of an effort by Dwayne Bobbick and Leon Spinks. Who will possibly go on to bigger and better things, a.k.a. cannon fodder for a much bigger name but a bigger payday? And who will have to regroup and possibly become cannon fodder for a mid-level fighter? We shall see. Ref. And again, Kurt Berglund now looks at Dave Gardner, asks him a question, and he's ready. Steeler fan scores the bout 94-93 in favor of Leon Spinks. And the Spinks fans go wild. Kurt Berglund now announces... Judge Anthony Crooks scores the bout. Oh, hold on a second. Wrong way. Judge Big Polly scores the bout. 94-93. Dwayne Bobbick. So, one judge for Spinks. 94-93. And now one judge for Bobbick. 94-93. Kurt Berglund. Judge Anthony Crook scores the bout 95-93 for your winner and former Olympic gold medal middleweight champion from 1976, Neon Leon Spinks. So Leon Spinks wins a split decision at the Garden. And there's a smathering of booze from the Bobbick fans. Bobbick and Spinks embrace good sportsmanship. Congratulating Spinks on his win. And Spinks congratulating Bobbick on his effort. So Leon Spinks wins split decision. Steel, Judge Steeler fan 94-93 Spinks. Judge Big Pauly 94-93 Bobbick. Judge Anthony Crooks, 95-93 Spinks, the split decision. And let's show you that. And we'd like to thank our three judges, Steeler fan, Anthony Crooks, Big Polly. We'd like to thank our referee, Dave Gardner. we like to thank our ring announcer, Kurt Berglund. And, of course, our ringside physician, Dave Little. So let's show you. the scorecards. You can see the scorecards. 94-93 Steeler fan. And then by accident, I almost read Anthony's scorecard second. You never want to do that in a split decision. The old days, they used to just read them right down the line, which, I mean, if you watch old fights from the 60s and 50s, they didn't they didn't do the drama thing. Uh, and then, So Anthony had it 95-93, two points in favor of Bobby. Steeler fan had it one point, I'm sorry, two points in favor of Spinks for Anthony Crooks. Steeler fan had it one point for uh, Leon Spinks. And Big Pauly had it one point for Dwayne Bobbick. Very close fight. We had it one point for Spinks. Again, we had that full paw with the knockdown. By accident, instead of going 10-8, I put 10-9, 10-10. Uh, I knew something was wrong when I'm looking at the scoring at the bottom. I'm like, how is that? And I went back through the scoring and we got that. Again, my scorecard's unofficial. So there you have it. Hope everyone enjoyed it. We'd like to say thank you to Dave Little. Check out his wonderful YouTube channel. Uh, Highlight Hey Day. Go check him out at the front A lot of fun. Todd B., how you doing, my friend? Thank you for showing up. Uh, Kurt Berglund, check out his wonderful YouTube channel. That's a must-subscribe, as well as the others. And, of course, Pine Tar Baseball. Hockey and Real, a fun YouTube content creator. Philip Reynolds, thank you very much. Philip Reynolds and I believe Kurt Berglund are going to play. Going to be playing a little Pine Tar Baseball online, so check that out when it's up and about. Uh, let's continue to screw up. Uh, Clee, Clee Baseball Fan 879, formerly Tribes Baseball Fan 879. Check out his wonderful YouTube channel, Card and Dice Stratomatic Baseball. And Frank Winscott, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
It was a fun bout. Uh, just how did the new setup look with the camera? Hopefully I didn't put my head into the camera 4,000 times. I have a new camera. I tried to figure out a new setup. I think it's okay. Again, the camera's not exactly doing what I want, but what camera ever does. I want to do it with my, use my phone, try to use my phone next time because I think I can get a much stronger picture. But again, you can see the cards and stuff up here, you know, over here and stuff. You can see the cards, so. Um, let's bring that back. There we go. So hopefully everyone enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And uh, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate your time. Our next Glory Days boxing bout is going to be two fights. I was going to do three, but I think we'll do two, maybe three. And again, that'll be a long stream, as all my streams usually are. Um, but we're going to do two or three bouts like we did when we did the, when we did the New Jersey titles. When we had three fights there. But the two fights for sure, Ken Norton against John L. Sullivan. These fights will be from Fenway Park. And uh, it's either going to be Sandy Sadler versus um, Barry McGuigan, 12 rounds featherweight championship, or Marvin Hagler trying to take the title away from Nino Benvenuti, uh, 12 or 15 rounds. I don't know about that one yet. Um, but definitely Sullivan, Norton, the winner might get a crack at Rocky Marciano. So thank you very much. Health and happiness. Greatly appreciate your time. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Stay safe. Be smart with whatever you do. God bless. Leon Spinks wins a split decision over Dwayne Bobbick in a thriller that saw both pugilists kiss the canvas twice. And Bobbick almost putting Spinks out in the 10th. So, God bless. Again, greatly appreciate your time. You know what's coming, folks. Peace! Love you all.